guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the first video that I made. And in that video, I was showing you how to make a pencil case. And yeah, this is the pencil case I was talking about. And I did say that it, the video was very long and I didn't want to get into that too long video. And I decided to make a part two of a, how to make a box posh. So this is the box posh I'm going to show you in this part two of this video and yeah let's get into this video if you haven't watched part one please pause this video and just go back and watch it um yeah i hope you have uh, enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed uh, making this one and yeah let's get into it The method is the same as the pencil case. You start with your lining fabric. You would have already ironed on and interfacing on it. And also you place your zipper facing up. Both of them, uh, they face up. And your main fabric will be facing down. And then you take your clip and you sandwich everything. You just clip on all the layers together lay flat all the layers and um, hold them using the fabric clips and bring to the sewing machine and once your zip is attached uh, just fold over the two layers the lining fabric and the top fabric and now you can do a beautiful top stitch uh, to finish off this uh, part of the box pouch. Uh, take time and make sure that this uh, stitch is as perfect and straight as possible because this is what's going to be a, a really definitive part of this uh, box pouch this is the stitching inside on the lining and you can now work on making those um, two tubes from from your two rectangle um, you turn the main fabric and you lay it flat onto the zipper and flip it over again and do the same with the lining fabric once you have done this uh, you can then uh, bring it uh, to the sewing machine and you just stitch through to join those three layers which is the lining fabric, your zipper, and your main fabric. You can clip them together at this point and then just sew, sew it through. You should end up with uh, two loops of fabrics after this stage. Let me show you again uh, how we do these two tubes. Uh, I'm, I'll be using a green zipper this time onto the same kind of fabric so you can have a clear understanding of how we layer this. Um, this is when you have attached your zip as I have shown you with the white one or cream white one earlier. And then this is how it looks like inside. And the next thing that we did uh, is a top stitch. So you fold these two fabrics together and then you stitch outside here and it will come through uh, on the lining inside and following this step you can then do your 
two tubes take the main fabric lay it flat and take the top fabric and bring it over into the zipper and now you can use your pins to hold the two layers which is a zipper and this main fabric together pin it through actually at this stage um, you still want to use the same pins on this other side onto the lining fabric uh, to get your sandwich um, pull over the lining fabric and place it onto the other part of the zip palm and using the same pins please be careful when you're doing this um, hold together all the three layers you can then uh, bring it to your sewing machine and stitch it together or you can just use a, a sewing needle and thread and hand sew it Now you can turn this tube inside out. Just follow along and pull it out. Everything will just fall into place and you will end up with one big tube. And this is the tube that you're going to, to square your your back and to do those box corners you want to center your zipper nicely and just ensure that the two sides are, are of the same size actually you will need to use a measuring tape to do this otherwise you will end up with a unequal parts of your back it is important to just use a measuring tape and make sure that everything is measured correctly before you proceed and another thing that i like to use is to make a quarter seam allowance and uh, i prefer drawing it most of the time especially when i'm going to be using a lot of layers um, just to make sure that i'm going in a straight line uh, also i just want to show you at this point that under the zipper this is when you can uh, prepare the handles for the back um, I don't know what you call them but they're kind of something to hold on to the back as you're using it you can pin the sides together but um, at the zip you can take these little uh, handles that uh, you've made you can actually place you can place them when you have uh, turned them into a tube but just note that um, putting it as one single layer inside the bag because I've noticed that uh, actually it's too thick so I just place it as lying flat like this and i'll show you how i will make it kind of a loopy uh, handle 
of the of the sewing it and here you bring this to the sewing machine and you sew all pieces together make sure you go back and forth on the zipper where there is your handle pull up um, just to make sure that everything is uh, secured firmly and just stitch through your bath and before stitching through uh, you open your zip slightly otherwise if you if you don't do this it will be difficult for you to open it up let me repeat this uh, because i am uh, making two box pouches one is with the cream zipper and the other one is with the uh, kind of green zipper and um, I just uh, go over a few times on the zipper just to make it uh, nicely secured because I mean it is the part of the bag that is going to be used mostly as you open and close it and make sure that you securely finish as well. It shouldn't take you a long time to do this. It is pretty easy and when you're done, you can open it up. Um, and this is when uh, you can trim off the fabric and cut off your corners so that when you turn your back inside out it will give you those uh, nice sharp corners now it's time to box all the four corners yeah i use um four centimeter to box these corners and please note how I I lay flat the finish hem. I lay them facing away from the zipper because it's going to give it a nice finish when you are done sewing, when you are hiding everything. In this one, I am using four centimeters. Uh, please note that uh, the larger your centimeters around the corners or the larger the size it's going to determine how deep your pouch is going to be inside so you can make it smaller like the other bag that i'm going to show you it's uh, two centimeters whereas this one i've used uh, four centimeters on all sides and then you throw through a straight line just make sure that everything is cornered nicely uh, because this is going to give you those uh, crispy corners and secure this uh, with the pin go ahead and do this on all four corners of your pouch Once you have done all your four corners, it is time now to hide all the stitching that you have done inside, especially the hem one. 
I usually lay flat like this um, rather than cutting it. I know a lot of people they cut it using pinking shears but I prefer just uh, putting it down like that and sewing it um, just to hand sew it. It gives it a nice uh, finish look uh, when you look inside and also on the side as well where you are lying flat those flips it gives it kind of a a, a stable part really so i prefer to hand sew and hide it to the items that I have. I wanted everything to fit into them. So these are my pens, you know, um, for the pencil case. And you can make it as long as you want. Uh, I've chosen to make just this size. And I've also chosen to make this uh, deep uh, box pouch for my uh, makeup foundations. Uh, most of them are this size and yeah they come in handy for when you are traveling and packing those luggages and for the longer items like your makeup brushes you can make a longer one and um, keep everything neat And guys, yeah, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope you leave something special for yourself. Something that you can um, be proud of saying, I have made it. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and please share this video and let me know what else do you want me to make in terms of sewing. You want me to do knitting or crochet or anything yeah just let me know thank you